definitely has been. I mean, obviously, we've done a great job raising money for Sarasota Little League. Absolutely. 0-1 fouled back to the sweet level and back down to the crowd. It's 0-2. Remember that target I mentioned earlier? Well, <laughs> it might be back. Over the years, you learn exactly what, when it's actually threatening and when it's just <laughs> in the vicinity. That was in the vicinity. 0-2 the count. Pitch to Williams. High and away, did not chase one and two. No, as I was saying, we did a great job, raised a lot of great money for Mendoza's hometown low league down in Sarasota tonight. But I think we really saw success of both teams coming together. I would not be surprised if you see more teams coming up with ideas like this Absolutely. where they can kind of use the rivalry to advance and spend a great time raising great money for local charities all around. Yeah, it's not just Williamsport and State College. Absolutely. There's teams all around the country that have these close neighbors where you can do stuff like this. And a swing and a miss for Williams. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. In fact, three in a row for Daniel Harper. Brought to you by Mountain Any Health. Mountain Any Health's team of doctors care for women during all stages of life. Visit mountainitney.org for more information. Two outs, top of the ninth. Spikes leading by one. Or is it the Diamond Dogs? That it is. And it's Matthew Etzel who's the last hope for Williamsport. He is 0 for 4 tonight. A couple of ground outs, a strikeout. He also has reached on an error. He takes a strike to make it 0-1. And, and if you're Williamsport right now, this is the bat you want to see at the plate. Two-time MLB draft league here of the week. And he strokes a single to right field to keep the board apes in the ball game. His first hit of the night, but a two-out single is... Williamsport seventh as a team, and now Isaac Nunez stepping up. He is one for three. He has doubled, scored a run, stolen a base, and walked in the game. And Etzel leads the MLB Draft League in stolen bases with 21. Yeah, you know, if you've been following Crosscutters last board apes tonight at any point this year, this is a team that absolutely loves to steal. I would not be surprised to see him go in the next pitch or two. And the first pitch swung on and missed. Gets past Blackwell. He won't have to go as he moves to second. As might have been a cross-up there on the pitch. It is a strike to make it 0-1. But Etzel moves to second. Taking a quick look here at the outfield. Playing straight up right now against Nunez. But they are playing back a bit, which is surprising to see. A lot of Nunez's extra base hits are usually hard hit ground balls that sneak in. I would like to see them come up just maybe a step or two on him here. The 0-1 down and away. 1-1 one one the count. Wind is blowing in now from left center field about 10 miles an hour. It's been a bit more of a breeze tonight than we've had recently in Happy Valley. 1-1. Check swing, up and in, but they'll peel to first. Nick Swaha says no. It, he did not go around, two and one the count. That was almost more defensive when we got to the check swing with Nunez. That pitch, I don't think he was expecting to be quite that far up and in. <laughs> and he was more just trying to protect himself with the bat than trying to go around on it. Jayhawk, some good news as the two one is preceded by a turn to second. We will have five of our NFT holders are confirmed. They'll be down on the field after the game, and they will be able to receive their jerseys right from the players and coaches who wore them tonight. Well, that's going to be an awesome experience for them. And with a lot of stuff we've had here tonight with the NFT Classic, just another experience that you're going to get nowhere else in the country. Absolutely. The Diamond Dogs, the Bored Apes, a great success tonight. A swing and a miss by Nunez. Two and two the count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. The spikes slash Diamond Dogs leading three to two. The pitch tapped off the plate, charging in Cook. Gloves it, throw on to first. In time, got him, and the State College Diamond Dogs take the first ever NFT Classic as they defeat the Williamsport Board Apes by the score of three to two. A close play at first, but the Diamond Dogs do it. They'll turn back into the State College Spikes tomorrow night, but for tonight, it's all theirs as these jerseys are all the property of the holders of each of the NFTs. But boy, oh boy, these players had a lot of fun wearing them tonight, and hopefully everybody that's watching on that had one of these jerseys had a lot of fun as well as, again, State College wins it by the score of 3-2. to two. Well, Jayhawk, you and I are going to both head down to the field. I'll be interviewing 
our uh, player of the game. You'll be down there with the NFTs. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. You and Gabe, having you here has been tremendous. You know, thank you, as always, for having me on, partner. It's always great to stop by. And on behalf of everyone with the Williamsport Crossroads, thank you to yourself and the Spikes and everything you guys did with working with Evan Mendoza and getting this amazing event set up tonight and pulling it off in the amazing fashion that we did. That's what we do. It's a tournament of idea and, and with the Spikes, the Crosscutters, and uh, MLB draft league teams and minor league teams across the country, we just grow it and see what sprouts. And what sprouted tonight was a fantastic evening at the ballpark. The final, State College 3, Williamsport 2, back in a few moments on the Spikes Radio Network, presented by Penn State Sports Medicine, official health care provider of Penn State Athletics. The State College Spikes are back home for four games full of fun this week. Monday is old school baseball night on a buck Monday. Tuesday means $2 walking tacos on game show night. Wednesday is kids take over the ballpark. And it's a thirsty Thursday on ag night. Game time is 635 all four nights. For tickets, call 814-272-1711 or buy and download at statecollegespikes.com.